Mr. Fo, what happened? I saw Jing's mom just leave. Did Jing cause any trouble? No, he didn't. It's just that he has taken a liking to someone's wife. What? He has a unique taste. That woman keeps saying she loves her husband. Why is she messing around with Lin Jing? So weird. What the fuck? You're the weird one. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Ooh, to you. Happy birthday Wei Yuan. Happy birthday. Dad, when my illness is cured, let me take care of you, okay? Sure. Wei Yuan is so filial. Sure. That's our little girl. Yes. <laughs> Mian, you're finally back. The cake and dishes have been tasted. We're waiting for you. Wei Yan, here's the gift for you. Do you like it? Mian. The gift doesn't matter, as long as you are here. I'm happy. Over the years, I've seen everything Wei Yuan has done for you. But how about you? You even forgot Wei Yuan's birthday. Today, I went back to sign the divorce agreement with Fu Yin Chang. What? You know we're in a critical phase of financing of our company. We need the Fu's help. How could you keep a divorce from the family at this time? Dad. A company that can only survive with the full support. What's the point of persisting? You! Dad? Uh, what's wrong? Dad! Dad? Dad? What's wrong? Dad? Dad? Honey, are you okay? Sit down first. Honey, show me if you don't want to come back. Just get out. Your dad hasn't slept well for the past few days because of the company. Do you want to piss him off? Dad, I'm sorry, I... Mian, can't you be more sensible? Why do you divorce with Fu Yancheng at this critical moment? What can we do with the company's second round of financing? Mian, I beg you, please don't divorce Fu Yancheng. Have you even considered what kind of person Fu Yancheng is? To marry him is the blessing you have accumulated over a lifetime. I don't understand why you are so sentimental. Mian, please sign the divorce agreement today. Otherwise... We will file an appeal for divorce. Dad, take a good rest. I'll come to see you later. Indeed, Sheng Mian didn't sign. If we fools want to ruin the Shengs, it's easy like squeezing an an. How dare they have any ideas against me? They caught death. Don't worry, I have ways to make her sign it. Grandpa. Yan Cheng! Have you seen Mian? Has she become even more beautiful? Grandpa, you should focus on your own health abroad. No need to worry about other matters. It's no use to express concern verbally. If you really care about me, just have a baby with Mian. <laughs> Grandpa, I'll be back next week. When I'm not home, take care of her. If I find out Mian is being mistreated, I'll fix you. <laughs> You'll be back next week? Do you want to keep me in the hospital forever? Dad, I didn't mean that. That is settled then. Dad, it must be Xiong Mian. She must have gone to complain to Grandpa again. Your Grandpa is in hospital. How can she bother him? The Xiongs are so hurtless. Mom, don't worry about it. I will handle it. Mr. Fu, Grandpa is coming back. Is the divorce still on? No, have the lawyer draft a new contract, as long as she acts as my wife in front of Grandpa. The Fu's is willing to help the Shengs through the second round of financing. Yan Cheng, I don't know why you're angry, but don't be so upset. Tonight, we've reserved a room. Let's relax at the USA Club. Hey, Yan Cheng, just go once for my sake. Penny will be there. Just think of Penny will be there. So you set this up for her? I appreciate Penny too. Just accompany me for one time. Room number? Did I hear it right? It's usually harder to get him outside. Why did he agree so readily today? Tell me within three seconds or I won't go. Oh, USA, triple eight. Penny, I do want to see how capable you are. You manipulate so many men. That bitch will also attend the gathering? That's good. I will teach her a lesson. For Chu Ching. Mian, I beg you. Don't divorce Fu Yan Cheng. There's no other way. I can only tell him my real identity and have a good talk. Hello? Penny, 
to thank you for helping me out. I've arranged a party tonight at USA Room 888. I'll introduce you to my friends. There are potential clients. But if Fu Yunshang knows that Penny is Xiong Yan, the cooperation must be ruined. Just put the divorce aside. Lin Xing's friends are all wealthy. Maybe with them, there would be more options for the studio. All right, Mr. Lin. Thanks. I will be on time. Cheers. 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 Penny, why are you so late? Let me introduce you. This is Penny, a rising star designer in the capital. She's the one you're curious about, the designer of Yan Cheng's house at Yujing Garden. Penny, you've taken on the project, yet instead of focusing on the design, you're here attending gatherings. You have remarkable energy. Lin Xin didn't even mention Fu Yunshang. It seems he's everywhere. Penny, my brother is not easy to handle. How did you manage to deal with him? Share with me. No need to ask. A woman like her. Besides showing off her appearance and seduce men. What else can she do? Xiao Yue. Penny is my guest. Even if you're Chu Qing's sister, you shouldn't speak so harshly. Well, he's speaking for her. Enough. We've finally gathered together. How about playing truth or dare sincerely? Penny, any objections? Of course not. Let's do it. Oh. Come on, come on. Penny, you need to be careful. See, his games are no joke. Yan Cheng, why not join us this time? You never joined before. It's so boring without you. Fine. Okay, here we go. Go! Oh, it's not my fault, Yan Cheng. Everyone's watching. Truth or dare? Pick one. Truth. Hey, Sihe, with so many eyes on you. Are you going to take it easy? No way. I'm quite interested in Yan Cheng's private life. When did you have your first night? Undoubtedly. It must be with Chu Qing when they were abroad. That's right. Fu Yunshang and Xiao Chu Qing have been together for so long. They must. Yan Cheng, why are you hesitating? Could it be that you're still a virgin? When I returned to the country on the night of the Fu's banquet. Oh. Whoa. The Fu's Banquet. Could it be that he also had his first night? It wasn't with Chu Qing? Isn't that recently? Chu Qing hasn't been back yet. Come on, second round. Let me spin. Here we go. Oh, Yan Cheng, this is not my fault. Everyone is watching. I didn't trick you. Truth or dare? Truth. On that night of the banquet, was the girl you were intimate with present? Yes. Oh. Ooh. Could it be her? Come on, Yan Cheng. Next round. If it comes to you again, you must tell the story. <laughs> Oh, Penny, truth or dare? If he keeps asking the thing with Fu Yunshang that night, we can keep it a secret. Dare. Penny, you are quite bold. Then you choose a man to kiss for 30 seconds. Penny, did you make your choice yet? Fu Yunshang is definitely not an option. I don't know Wang Xihe, Lin Jing. I've heard he's a playboy. He probably won't mind. You'd rather choose someone else than me. It was one you went on first. And now Lin Jing, what am I to you? What are you doing? How many men have you kissed before? Whether it's Jing or Yan Cheng. How much longer? When she her? Penny, time's up. No 
Normally, you're reserved with physical contact. Yet today, you're engaged in a 30-second kiss with Penny. Or you two are... Why? Why aren't you angry? We just kissed. Angry? Why should I be angry? You are willing to kiss a girl. I'm happy. <laughs> Your girlfriend was kissed by another man, and you're not angry at all? You're magnanimous. Girlfriend? Who? At lunch today, you two seemed quite close. Now you're feigning ignorance. Even if she's just your girlfriend, you shouldn't be so ignorant to her. Guess what? Penny is married too. The way both of you navigate the relationship is quite similar. Girlfriend? Penny? Oh, I see. I did ask Penny to pretend to be my girlfriend to help me out. Do you take it seriously? Pretend? Yeah, I may be a bit flirtatious, but I'm not indiscriminate in my choices. It was all a show. What do you mean indiscriminate? You're not qualified to criticize her. Oh no. It's just a casual remark. Why are you speaking up for her? Honestly, do you have feelings for Penny? What nonsense! She's married. And they're very affectionate. What? She's married? Hey, my dear Mr. Fu, how can you be so astute in business and yet so clueless in matters of a relationship? What do you mean? What do I mean? How come a married woman stays out so late if she's truly happily married? Why isn't she wearing a wedding ring? I bet that young lady must have feelings for you.